We're just waiting. There's nothing better to do. Fuck it all! Now! Oh! <laughs> BKB, BKB! Run, please run, please run, please run! Banana slam, jam! Uh, looks like a hoodwink lane. So when you get to lane, you'll want to chop all the trees that are over here and play near that area. You can actually hit this guy. Don't let him walk up. Yeah, hit his ass. Keep hitting him. Oh, nah. If he doesn't have help, you keep hitting him. It's okay, though. Free damage. Whenever you're allowed to free damage the opponent, you free damage the opponent. So yeah, go ahead and uh, cut these trees. Looks like your Jakiro used another dual breath. He's got boots and no regen, so keep in mind you're gonna have to play like a pussy. These trees are more important because this is where the creeps are. Your Jakiro's out of mana, just keep that in mind. No, 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 what is this? Get get the creeps off you. Uh, now you prioritize denying right now. Deny, 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 deny. Whatever you did there, don't do that in the future. Uh, I want you to prioritize making sure the lane's not pushing like it is now. Keep denying, deny, deny, deny. You can even beam Tusk when he walks up to the ra or melee. Ah, fine. Nice try. So we had to spend the entire wave denying, which is why what you did is bad. Yeah. You ready to beam? Oh, it's okay. Couldn't get it off quick enough. Watch out for range in this time. Okay. Aggro defensively. You can, like, hit Tusk when he's going for this range. You shouldn't be doing, like, okay. Hmm. I'll talk about it after the game. Okay. When enemies are in a position of 1v2, you want to hit them, not to die. That's TLDR. Back off a bit, back off, don't chase. Girls being a little nuts. Prioritize lane equilibrium. As long as we keep it in front of us, we will be winning this lane. Am I looking at boots first? Nah, nah, go to haste. Deny or draw aggro? Yeah, in the future you want to draw aggro to range immediately. Um before your creep wave gets here. Immediately? Okay, before. Yeah, yeah. Deny, deny, deny. I don't care about what's going on here. Deny, deny. Deny. Nice. You ready to beam range? You can help your Jakiro. Help your Jakiro. Just back off, back off, back off, back off. Don't let them turn on you. Nice, nice, nice. Deny? Perfect. You want to actually just keep this wave outside a tower longer than Tusk does. So, yeah, yeah. Just kite it around a bit. Just walk around. Just walk around. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Okay. Yeah, just walk around. Uh, Keep the lane, like, right here. Yeah, perfect. Don't need to draw aggro or anything. Just hit. Ah, oh, no, no, no. No, no. Uh, I'll talk about that in the future. It's hard to explain. Yeah, it was like automatic. Yeah, I got you. Lane's pushing into you a bit, just keep that in mind. Hoodwink is nearby, so be careful. So don't try to trade with Tusk when your support's a wave like this. Basically, your support's positioning is telling you what you want to do. You can defensively aggro here. Pull that melee creep back. Nice. Uh, Hoodwing pulled, so hit, 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 hit. Don't beam for this creep. It's got magic rose and shit. Be careful. Go for the range. Be careful. Be very careful, my friend. Be very careful. See how Tusk is posturing? The more aggressive he is, the back more you at the back. The lane's kind of in a shitty spot. Jakiro kind of griefed you by letting them pull. You're going to miss a few creeps here. You're just going to want to kill this and use these creeps to protect you. Basically, be careful of them going on you at the same time. So sit in XP range, like right here. Uh, buy your components of treads. Don't walk up! No, 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 no! Holy shit, I didn't think you'd do that. Holy fuck. Your beam's, like, way longer range than you're giving it credit for, I think. Like, way longer yeah. than that. You're, like, walk- you're walking, like, attack range to beam. It's, like, twice as far as your attack range. That scared the shit out of me, bro. Holy fuck. <laughs> you were, like, being chill, and I was, like, super happy about it, and then suddenly you're a Rambo. I was very confused. You can beam that! Beam that! Beam that! Beam that! Oh! Ooh, <laughs> Okay, draw aggro defensive, defensive to range. Nice. Ooh, man. That was a little bit of a deep breath situation. Should I go glaze here or? Uh, hold the point. Okay. Uh, Jakiro's just kind of being an AFK support. Uh, they don't have creeps to pull. Uh, be careful. You don't, don't, don't need to do that. A lot of little things here that I can't teach live. We'll talk about them a bit after the game. You ready to help your Jakiro? Yeah, go, they use spells. Turn, use glaives, use glaives, or level glaives. And just back off, he's dead. Uh, just get Silk XP. Don't let them go on you. You can draw aggro to this melee if you see the opportunity. 
Like draw aggro from the melee. Yeah, 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 perfect. You're not gonna get that range. Spoiler alert, you're not gonna get it. Maybe soak XP over here, like quelling the trees around you at all times. You're against Hoodwink. They're gonna try to pull. Keep posturing over here. No, 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 don't show, don't, 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 don't. I was gonna try and beat it, no. No, no, no. The, if you see two heroes in front of you, you can't do this. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Keep quelling blading around you. We can't let them go on us. You will take like 600 damage if they go on you. I, I want you. To, I want that to be understood. You'll take so much damage. Your Jakiro is kind of just AFK, and we have to accept that. If you can, so Hoodwink went this way, so we can draw aggro right now. So you got to look for opportunities where Hoodwink is not there. So yeah, you draw aggro. Use that time if you can. Oh my gosh! Oh, be we careful. Trying to pull, it just I a click like four times. Yeah, you a click Tusk out of range probably. Be careful. Be careful. Don't let them go on you at the same time. It's so important. They have many of Hoodwing backs, you can aggro again. Not the end of the world, you're getting solo XP and you're not taking a lot of damage. These are moments where your support's kind of just sucking, so you just have to accept that your lane sucks a little bit more. Yep, you can hit. Uh, aura, aura. Just keep, just keep hitting. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. Ignore him, you might want to mute him. I'm gonna mute him myself. I have, I have all. I have all. Okay. You told okay. me to mute, to mute all. Yeah, yeah. Hit, 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 hit. So Toadwing's not here. Hit the guy. See, see. Okay. We gotta work on this. It's good. It's good. It's good that I see consistent trends. Hit the creep wave out. We're out of here. Hit, hit, hit. Hoodwink's gone. We got like 10 seconds before he's back. We don't know where he is right now. Hit, hit, hit. Back off a little bit. Hoodwink could be here. But you want to keep hitting just defensively now. Go towards the pull camp. Go, go, go. I don't care about this catapult. In the future, you'd want to hit those creeps fast. Ah! What is that pathing, bro? Like that. You said Ooh, yeah, the pull camp, but there's a hoodwink. No, no, when you said pull camp, I thought you meant the big camp. The big camp? Holy shit, you're nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just wait. Just, no, 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 it's I too late to pull now. When you... It's too late to pull. It's too late to pull. Sorry, we'll get on the same page about this in the future. Uh, try to draw these defensively, but keep looking out for hoodwink. Try to draw aggro defensive, if you can. It's very treacherous. Yeah, you might be good. Okay, hoodwink wasn't here, fortunately. Husk has punch. Be very scared. No, no, no. Run, 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 run. Please get out of vision. Please. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. We got so much to teach. Wrong hotkeys. Hold on. I was trying to cut trees and, like, yeah. eat a, a tango. They're trying to go on you. Just play like a pussy. Do not even show yourself. Do not show to hit these creeps. Do not. Okay. Just keep getting XP. This is the life we live because we have no support. It's okay. We're getting solo XP. It's not the end of the world. You're an XP-based carry anyway. Get your, uh, get your Morbid Mask. Don't show. Why? Do not show. Morbid Do not mask show. Over a quarter staff. Uh, you're gonna need some regen because you're jungling. If you were still laning, you'd want quarter staff. So am I going glaives then here? Uh, go. You're gonna want to pull small. Yes, glaives. Sorry. We gotta wait for Hoodwink. We have no idea where he is. Pull small at 40 if you can. Keep getting an XP range, but pull small at 40. We're just gonna be wary of what Tusk does after he clears this wave. Hit that as fast as possible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is making me so nervous. Okay. Watch out for Tusk. If he shows on the small camp, you can hit. You gotta be so scared, man. Uh, just hit, man. Just hit. You're dead. Just hit. In the future, try to hit the hoodwink because he's the squishier guy. You want to get him yeah, off of you. Okay, so we're gonna have to be done with bottom. It's okay. Let's chill a little bit. Let's uh, go Ancients now, or go like towards mid. We're done bottom. You made them invest a lot to kill you because you were so safely positioned, so it might turn into something for your team. Yeah, you're gonna TV mid right now. You're not participating in with your skill. No, no. Yeah, push out the wave, push it out. Check top rune after you push it out. Okay, go big camp. Your Jakiro is actually pressuring a bit up the top. So the fact that you were positioned so safely made it so the opponent overextended a bit, which is nice. You can go towards top now. Play towards your team here in this case, because there's nothing better to do. You don't want to lane against the level 9 Konka. So we're just near our team right now, because we don't have anything better. But go ahead and push the wave. Anti-Mage is also a carry that doesn't want, like, three heroes in his lane. Yep, so they're pushing mid, you're pushing top. You can keep pushing. Uh, we just have to be wary of responses, so we're looking at Tusk, who has TP, we're looking at Kunkka, who's kind of low. Keep pushing until you see people. 
You can like, you just need to hit and then we need to see what happens. So Kunk is showing, Tusk is showing. Yeah, this is good. We can just keep hitting. As long as we see I Tusk and Kunko, we're good. Yep, hit the creep wave for HP. Perfect. Unfortunate. They're still not reacting, so we can keep hitting. We just gotta be ready to back if they do react. You can go next wave because they didn't react. Fly your Mask of Madness out. We're just gonna go uh, straight Manta here. No Dragonlance. Uh, don't worry about the knives in the future. Don't worry about the bounty. It's a little scary. Okay, go to small camp. Back off. We're just taking Anti Mage's farm. Make sure you hit the disarm creep. Make sure you hit the disarm creep. I don't know which one that is. That, it's that's uh, the one you just beamed. Okay. So big camp. Right, big camp's blocked. Kill this war. Actually, no. It's what happened to the big camp. You can go wave. Anti Mage backed off. Go wave. Oh, he's here. Go, go ancients. Sorry, I figured he left. Go ancients. Go, go, go. If we can make the stack, use Mask of Madness to move faster. The Lance of Pursuit on the ground in here. Do ancients start hitting them? Yeah, right now, start hitting them. Perfect. When you're doing stacks, you don't need to worry as much about the high HP creeps just because we want to minimize damage taken. Uh, scan the river near you. Okay, never mind. Never, nobody's here. Uh, fly yourself Wand Recipe and uh, Band of Elven Skin and a Salve. Go ahead and do Big Camp because you're taking so much damage. You need to fly yourself your items. It's really important. Yeah, it's... I know you're probably overwhelmed, but it's really a important. Bit, a little bit. And shit. Go top, just be very careful of anti -mage. Please be ultra safe in your pathing, man. Be very safe! Holy shit. Hide in the trees to the left. To the left, to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Use the salve immediately. You can defend against him if you salve up. Just beam a creep to draw aggro off. Please. Yeah. Hit, hit creeps, hit creeps. You have a teammate. Don't let him hit. Don't let him finish this. You're not this scared. You don't have to be this scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the next wave. Actually, tap your Marcy run at you with him. Run at this guy with you. Marcy, let's go. Let's go in you. Let's go in you. He's not helping. Oh, he sees you. Uh, you're gonna buy a sentry. There's a ward almost certainly like over here. Back off, back off. Be very good. TP mid tower. Tier two. Mid tier two. Right now. Tier two mid. I wanted to make sure I was out. Big of camp, it. big camp, big camp here. Big camp here. I need him to do it instantly. I can't calm down. Go farm the way first, because it's coming in. Don't worry about the stack. Farm it after. Buy yourself a TP. Go back to the stack after this. I didn't stack, so... I think you stacked. Oh, you didn't. GG. I heard it, but... It must have been Jakiro. Uh, go towards your Jakiro, because they were all just top. Actually, they're all bottom now. Go back towards mid after this camp. They all, like, went from top to bottom now. Watch out for the DD Kunko with, like, a Shadow Blader and Invis or some shit. Run, run, run. Dude, get the fuck out of my way! What the fuck is up with this dude? Uh, go Ancients. Go Ancients. Use a Mask of Madness and hit the Ancients. You have a Blade of uh, Lacrity to buy as well. Hit the camp, hit, hit, hit. Healthy Creeps first, or big... What am I, creeps. um, skilling here? Uh, the Reduction Talent. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. Watch out. Oh, gosh. I want to talk to you about these things like skilling abilities, but I like your positioning is ultra important in this game, and I feel like about 90% of the focus would want to be on positioning. That's why I'm yelling about it the whole time. Uh, if you stop, like, the difference in this game is you're against heroes like Tusk and Kunko, where if they hit you with their spells, you're going to die full to zero. If they don't hit you, you just live. So, um, I want you to actually TP to this fight if it's still going on. Never mind. TP? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Push out the wave with your team. You can actually fight with your team here. Uh,. Buy off your teammate's strength. Your tiny is a blink. Run behind your team. Your team oh, okay. is strong for you. You can farm ancients now. RC might stack. He's not going to stack. He... Just hit. Just hit, hit, hit. You're not stacking. So we want to follow strong people around in this game while we're farming. That's what we need to do now. Tiny went a bit early, sadly. We might be able to kill this Kunkka. Yep. We need to be farming near our team and contributing if that shit's happening. Push mid. Push, push mid. So we don't have the luxury of farming alone anymore. The two deaths. Keep going. We see Anti-Mage bottom. Uh, just be careful so you're not the one that gets gone on, okay? It, you can beam. Oh, no, be very careful. This is so scary, man. Please just hit the tower. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Back off now. Back off, back off, back off. Go Ancients. So I want you to think that you're contributing in a way that the only thing that matters is you don't die during this, okay? 
That's the only thing that matters. If that means you don't even feel safe enough to like beam them, then you don't. Uh, you're gonna need to kill that sentry after you kill this camp. Your teammate blocked it, you don't camp. We don't know where they are. Take super safe pathing when we don't see them. Super safe pathing. You can capitalize on your 1800 night vision. Wait for them to show. We have no idea where they are. Do not show on the screen blade. We see... Okay, we see them. You can go. You can go. I highly doubt Akunko's solo hunting you. If he is, that's really tragic. Uh, he might solo hunt you now, so be very careful until we see Kunko again. Actually, TB mid tier. Uh, no, 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 don't TB, don't TB. We have to just keep waiting. Be ready to go next way. No, I keep hiding in the trees. Yeah, no, don't run this way. Think that's where Kunko would be coming from. Where you're standing is where he'd be coming from. He's not coming from over here. I need you to think about this. Please stand over here. Okay, Kunko's bottom. Hit the creeps. Oh man, a lot of things to talk about. Okay, go big camp and small camp after this. Go, go, go. Big camp and small camp. Back to ancients we go. We're alone on the half of the map, so we have to be very scared. I want you to understand that you die to literally everything, so... <laughs> if we don't see them, you, you just get, the only thing that makes you advance on the map is your teammates. The only thing that allows you to advance. Hit these creeps, and then uh, from there, we're just gonna keep seeing what they're doing. They're all bottom still. We're kind of out of places to farm, so this is when we... Um, think of objectives that matter in the game. 20 minute rune. Maybe Tiny will get a good play here. Be ready to help Tiny at the 20 minute rune. If he gets, like, caught and feeds, then don't help him. But, like, maybe you make him strong. Tiny's doing some, uh, okay, just go back to Ancients, very good. You're gonna go top after this, be careful of the Kunkka running at you. Nope. I took notes for 10 seconds, I come back and you're dead. Rough one. Okay, so. I was running uh, away, there was a Kunkka coming, I decided to be an idiot. And beam of the creep that was following me, thinking Kuka's not going to chase me down here. Nah, he chased me down. You there. have to understand that you're a hot girl at the beach, and these guys are these guys haven't been laid in like three years. That's the situation we're in right now. Like, uh, well, while we have downtime, what do you think of specialist array? Uh, it's not as good as brigand's blade. You can drop your two items. You don't need to hoard the philosopher's stone and shit. Uh, your team's actually taking some good fights. Looks like. Uh, TP mid tier two. Uh, I want you to farm these camps first because they're dan more dangerous and you should be safe right now. Mm -hmm. You're gonna farm like these two camps and then we're either gonna turn around to ancients or we're gonna keep going based on what we see. So you go this camp. Um, you should be able to go one more with the bounty rune as well. Go back towards mid tier. This is the same thing as last time. Only objective is rune. So if your teammates run in front of you at the rune, you contribute. If they don't, then whatever. Pick up the wave. Do I take this wave? Yep. Yes, sir. You do. Go back to the same area you just came from. Big camp first near your tier two. Be very careful. This is where they would come from. Your pathing should be like this, but it's okay. So they're all bottom right now. That's why it's really important. Go ancients now because we don't see anybody. So this was the vibing with the map thing. They've been predominantly bottom for the last like 45 seconds. So your pathing would want to be defensive away from bottom, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So by taking like the right path in the trees instead of the left, you were gonna die to a gank if they were there. Uh, okay, so go here now. They're going on your team. Just be careful as long as you don't get X'd. Funka, still no BKB. If he walks up, you can actually burst him, I think. Be ready right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. If this Kunkka's an idiot. Oh, I want to, I want him to walk into you so bad. Right here! Oh, he's not going to walk into you, huh? You can just farm Ancients again, be ready to help your team. Remember, you're as strong as your team advances. If they run in front of you and you think it's shielding you from spells, it's great. Farm the large camp, and then after you farm the large camp, send Manta to mid. And then follow your Titan. Actually, help your team. Help your team, actually. Uh, this Kunkka's kind of feeding. Yeah, yeah. Cautious at all times. Kunkka's dead. You can, you're strong. You're actually strong. Just uh, kite that back. Perfect. You can Manta dodge it. RTZ! No. Ah. Damn, no RTZ. Just kite back a little bit. Okay, so send Manta down mid if you can, and then run very scared to your triangle. You are very scared now. Don't feed your illusions like that. Run all the way top to the big camp. All the way top. Past the ancients. All the way out of here. We're spending the time. There's no creeps to get the as far away from the enemy team as possible. Go big camp first, so you don't show on the wave. You don't want them to see you here. They're gonna run at you the second they see you. So we're gonna show. We're gonna kill the wave or camp first. Wave after. Wave, 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 please. And then you're gonna send Manta down the wave and be cautious. Manta, right now, Manta, and run, run left, because they're coming from the right. Run left. 
all the way around the arch. You're going to want to reconnect to your team, but think you're like crossing a dangerous bridge trying to catch back to your team here. Perfect. Go back to the Ancients. Perfect. 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 We should make a smoke play because the enemy's farming way more than we are. Oh, they're overextending. This is great. Hey, buy a Dragonlance before B Gibby. Hit those creeps. Hit these creeps, please. Please hit the creeps. Please hit the creeps. Hit the creeps. Hit the creeps. Oh man, it's almost on the minute, man. I don't want you missing like the one camp a minute you're getting. We have no farm space. Okay, kill these creeps. Kill the kill them. They're respawning. We can actually go rush. Tell your team to go rush. We rush. After this camp, yeah, go 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 rush. Go rush. This is nice. Buy your dragon lance. Make sure your sentries on the ground. You're also gonna drop your quelling blade. You're gonna run back towards top after this. We're gonna advance, but towards the top wave. Ah, uh, you take it, you take it. Top lane, top lane, top lane. Lane, lane, lane. I don't care about any of this fight. Lane, lane, lane. Uh, this team, your team's kind of nuts. Keep going lane. Let this happen. Tell your team to back if you can. You want to be nice enough to communicate to tell them to back? That's kind of stuff we can tell them before the Aegis is claimed. Um, they might still do it anyway. Uh, go, go small camp with your actual hero. Small camp, small camp, small camp. Got some illusions down. No, 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 because you see, you see them all on the map. Why take illusions to dangerous areas? So you're going to kill this camp. Manta now, because you got broken. Manta, and send it down the wave. Go hard camp. Go, 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 hard camp. Hard camp, hard camp. Hard. There's I mean, no like way they're running here, here, right? There's no way. There's no way they ran here. They never saw you, right? They never saw you in the last, like, 30 seconds. They saw you 30 seconds ago, and that's it. Be very careful, though. They are behind you. Like, so you don't want to run straight back. Run, like, run this way. Away from them. Like, away from... Remember, they're behind you. They're behind you. Do you see my pings? Run away from where they are. Yes, yes. Away from where they are. Which is mid. See this? It's away from where they are. A lot of people do yeah, but it's just one guy. Nah, it's three people you're afraid of. You're gonna let this Kunkka pass you. Go, keep walking down the trees. Let him pass you. If we go back to base now, we're never leaving. Buy your BKB next. Just don't show, he'll leave eventually. Don't show on that wave, actually. Just keep running this way. Keep running. So Kunkka's gonna be at the hard camp right now, then he's gonna go to the small camp. So... Stay here. Like, walk out. He's not here. There's no way he's sitting here waiting for you. So go ahead and Manta. And hide in the trees this way, because he's coming from the other way! Hit the, hit the wave! Hit the wave! What the, the illusion? I, I, I A-clicked it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't know where Kunkka is. We just need to keep waiting. Oh, I swear I'm not retarded. <laughs> keep walking down the lane, though. Like, very edge of the lane. You're just a fucking ninja, you know? You're a ninja. You're behind enemy lines right now. I never do this shit, so it's really... Yes. To this... I have nowhere to go. You're in... Okay. You can beam this guy. You got Aegis. Beam this guy and shit. Your team's coming. He don't overextend. Like, don't chase him. Don't chase him. You're just, like, alphaing him, you know? You ready for your team? See your team? They, they're helping you advance. This is why we do this, because it gives our team plays. Your team broke smoke. He's here. Kunkka's here. Your Wind Ranger just has no fucking detection. Uh, be very careful. You don't want to get gone on. Manta, Manta the wave, and follow your team. Follow your team. Follow your team. Follow team. Team, team, team. They're, they're, they're your fucking tour guides, man. You're in the wilderness, and you've never been here before. Yeah, you hit, you see three heroes. Go hit tower. You're gonna hit tower for, like, fucking... Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> uh, they're TPing Tusk. Behind your team. Behind your team. Behind your team. Your Jokiro gave you some vision. Wind Ranger TP'd away. Be very cautious. You might be able to burst that guy, though. Just hold now. Hold now. Hold now. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I thought he was snowballing you. That's good, though. It works out. Hit Kunkka! Hit, just hit him! You have Aegis! You have Aegis! Hit him! Just hit! Hell yeah! Let's fucking go! Okay. Go more, go more! Hell yeah! Go, 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 go! Hit, hit, hit! Anti-Mage TP'd in? This guy ruined his own game! That's a fucking BSJ TP right there! Holy shit, this guy BSJ TP'd in your face! Did you see that? Now he TP'd to no farm. That guy could have farmed all of bottom half, and he's like, Nah, I want to be here. Keep going, keep going. Three people dead. It's a fucking BSJ TV right there. If they fort, you're gonna run back into their jungle and farm it. You have Aegis still. Just kill these kill these illusions. Nice. Keep hitting. Okay. Go back into the jungle. Actually, keep going. This is a fucking anti mage. This guy's fucking useless. Yeah, kill his ass. Kill his ass. Come on. Come on! Oh! Hit, 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 hit. Hit, 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 hit. You gotta back off a little bit in a sec. Yeah, yeah, back off, back off, back off. Just farm their jungle now. Anti-mage is fucking sad. Just farm their jungle. Be very careful, though. You're on, like, the retreat. You're, like, robbing them right now, okay? Remember, they're, like, getting robbed on your way out. 
You're like leaving their dinner party and you're stealing their fucking silverware on their way out. Come on. Take that. Take the medium camp if we can. We see two heroes still. Actually, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, take that medium camp. Yeah, just farm backwards. You're good. Manta top wave after you finish this camp. Top wave, top wave. Perfect. They were probably running at you, so you're like walking away from them. You need to have a sense of urgency and hit creeps faster. You know what I mean? Like you pop Mask of Madness. You have better mechanics. This is a fucking scary ass neutral. I hate when it does that. Go back to your ancients. Help him. Uh, you have no, no, no. Just run, dude. See, now he wasn't fast enough. See, that's what you're running away from. Go ahead and clear ancients. Don't be the guy you just watched. You have BKB right now. Go towards your team. You're kind of strong. You have BKB. Actually, no. They're all fucking dead. Run back top. Sorry, sorry. I'm fucking delusional. Run back top. Send Manta towards mid. Hit, this, hit the camps on the way. You're, you're just farming, dude. You see them. In the future, we would use those Manta illusions to deny that haste, but it's not the end of the world. I was you can be alpha this guy. Alpha this guy. Ult, 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 ult. Hell yeah, fucking alpha. Let's fucking go. Uh, if they show somewhere, we can take outpost, but otherwise, nah. We're gonna go Silver Edge now. You can go the crit component first. Manta the top wave and back. Run back with your hero. We see nobody. Run, run, run. Run, 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 please! Okay. Back to Ancients we go. Maybe top rune? We actually see heroes on the map? Can I check the rune? Yeah, yeah, check rune. Yeah, sorry. Maybe it's Illusion or something? Nah. Okay, go back to Ancients. That's kind of like an efficiency pit stop, you know? It's like instead of just running straight to Ancients, you can also check rune on the way. Okay. You're gonna run behind your tiny top after this. He's your tour guide once again. He's your escort. You actually have BKB, so you can run in front of him. You might be his tour guide now. He's your tour guide in the sense that because he's here, you're allowed to do this. No. Gotcha. Um, they're all missing, so just know you gotta back off after this. Uh, play towards your tiny. Keep going. As long as you, like, Anti-Mage is running at your team bottom. He's got a DD. We just gotta monitor that guy. He's got a Scotty on Anti-Mage. The whole point of the fights will be that we position ourselves in a way that Anti-Mage does not jump us while we're stunned, okay? But we're either BKB'd or, like, silver-edged. We see Anti-Mage. You can run up this hill. You see Anti-Mage. You got a teammate behind you. Send Manta down top wave. Keep farming these camps. Farm the big camp. I don't mind this. Oh, Kunkka's there. Oh, Kunkka's being a little ninja and behind enemy lines as well. It's Marcy good. Okay, going BKB. They have no fort. Keep that in mind. Uh, go cut mid wave. Go to mid right now. You're going to man to the next wave mid. Run back towards your team. Top half of the map only. Top half of the map only. Run towards your team. Top half is safe. Bottom half, danger. Play, play the map like that. Check. Uh, please run. Just keep running. Keep running. That guy has a Scotty Basher. If he hits you, you're fucking dead. Keep running. No, keep running. Do not hit. Do not hit. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Okay. You're going to hide in the trees and TP out if you can. Uh, BKB. BKB. No, not like that. He's going to bash you. Had to go a bit further. Okay. Okay. We got time because you're dead for 74. So the whole point of this coaching session when you watch back this replay is your perception of what areas are dangerous. Okay. I wrote down these two notes. When you are either running forward or backwards, and then understanding what forward and backwards are. So like in this stage of the game, Anti-Mage has been consistently playing your shrine area, and you've been consistently playing top. So like when I tell you to Manta mid, but you're also running, you need to run a straight line away from where Anti-Mage has been running. Do you see how big of a difference it makes that he catches you there? Like it's so yeah. close, right? It's so fucking close. And this is the kind of shit that, like, will decide games for carry players. If you do this stuff faster than your 2k opponents, you'll win every fucking game. It's, like, not even close. Come on, Anti-Mage, die, you piece of shit. Okay. So the issue I'm having is that I'm telling you to run away from them or run towards them, and then when I tell you to run away from them, you're not running the direction that they would have come from. Does that make sense? Like, you're running, you're running, like, perpendicular to where they'd be coming from, rather than, like, a straight line. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? So I should be going perpendicular? Or should be well, no, you should be going straight. So if he's coming this way, and I tell you you're here, you should Manta and immediately run like this. So then what happens is, the whole time you're running away, you're just thinking, are they pursuing me or not? Right? So when I see one guy running through your ward, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. You can help this guy. Uh, this action? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, just be cautious, but you can maybe beam. Uh, go towards your ancients. They're all bottom again. Top safe, bottom dangerous. Oh, your Marcy's going. Dude, Marcy's fucking in. Clear the mid-wave first. Waves are always more important when we see them coming. We've almost got Silver Edge. Send Manta down the wave and go towards your Jakiro. Did I buy the Silver Edge outright or... Yeah, yeah, you're buying it. We're playing for Rush. Kill this creep camp and run towards top. 
Notice how we have wards there, so we feel safe. Anti-Mage was dead, so the waves weren't really pushed for them that well. Roche is up. Really important. We, this is we, the fight we, to decide the game. Buy your Silver Edge, you have the money. Bye, bye, bye. Miss American Pie. Follow your team in, just be cautious. Your Tiny is doing some crazy shit. I don't think this is good. He didn't have a life, what the fuck? Uh... This is shit. Absolute shit. No, 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 please, please, don't join if it's shit. Be ready to Silver Edge the second it's delivered to you. Run towards Top Wave. Silver Edge immediately. Okay, run towards top. Be a ninja. Towards top. Away from them. Remember, they're invading you. They're not going to think he's running towards our side of the map. They're 2k. Okay. Clear this wave. Hurry, hit it really fast. Don't wow. worry. You got this. If he, Yeah, yeah. Back. Just back. See, he's alone. You're good. You can TP uh, mid-tier 3 right now. Um, go to the small... Go to the large camp. Bottom lane. So it's the opposite now. Top dangerous. Bottom safe. We're just going to go as far bottom as possible. We don't have poke potential at Roche. We can't, like, harass them while they're Roaching, so we have to accept that we're not going to get it. Run towards bottom as fast as possible. Run, run, run. Bottom wave first. We're going to, like, start a backwards farming pattern here. We're going to get the 37-45 wave as well, and then we're going to farm backwards. You can clear that camp, too, actually. You can clear this. Sorry. I didn't think it was going to be there. Clear that. Go next wave as well, and then you're going to farm backwards. If somehow this Roche isn't done by the time Tiny's alive, we can consider going. Manta and run. Go backwards. Manta and go backwards. I said backwards. Woo! Yeah, sorry. 37-45 wave and then back. Your team's kind of feeding at Roche because they're doing it one by one. It is what it is. Keep farming back through your jungle. It's okay. After this camp, go to Ancients, actually. They're Ancients. They're Ancients. Actually, your team buying back. Okay, consider fighting. Shadow Blade towards the fight. This is so they don't jump you. This might actually be a really good reach around. Tusk is going to be back here. Oh, this is really good. This is nice. Skywrath Mage back here as well. You're flanking them. You have a Silver Edge. You're a fucking ninja, bro. You're a fucking ninja. Very good. They got Roche, but whatever. Run down mid. Uh, be ready to disassemble this Mask of Madness for a butterfly, okay? Maybe the... Ah, he tried. Your reaction to Anti-Mage jumping you is to Manta immediately, okay? Okay, chill about the fort. They don't have tier 3 fort now. You guys can keep going as long as this creep wave doesn't get cut. Farm Ancients on the way. Like, just think about the fact you have to wait for your next creep wave. So farm Ancients really quick. Mask of Madness there. And then meet your team. You're just waiting for this mid creep wave. Send Manta at bottom wave. And then go back to your team. Go back to your team. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, your timer's this little creep wave coming here. They have no fort. So all in this fucking tower. Now that you don't have Manta, you can BKB if he comes... Easy clap. Okay, just hit the hit the tower, hit the tower, hit the tower, hit the tower. Hit the tower. Actually, be careful. Be careful. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Be give me, be give me. Oh, you don't have mana. Chill, chill, chill. Run, run, run. You do not have mana. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Fly yourself three mangoes. Hurry, go ancients and farm. Fly three mangoes. Tell your team you don't have mana. Go big camp. Keep running. You don't have mana. Keep running. You're going to be putting your... Uh, you can potentially help your team here. We see a good thing happening. Good things are happening. Just worry about what's happening in the game. I don't care about fucking items. Run, run, run. run, run, run. Go to the secret shop and swap your mangoes in right now. Perfect. Hit the wave. You're going to send Manta now and go to the big camp behind you, behind you. Okay. When there's a huge fight going on, I give no shits about items. Priority of what we think about it is important. I, show up with butterfly or I understand, I understand. Stuff, yeah. If it's going to distract you from playing the game, then you don't do it. Hit this guy. Just be TB, 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 TB. <laughs> Holy fuck, this game is fucking exhilarating. Okay, uh, don't buy the quarter staff. Buy the other two components with your courier. Buy a TP. Run mid. Hit this guy. Hit this guy. This guy's fucking thinks he's a chat or some shit. Hit him! Hit him! Just hit him! <laughs> oh, man. BKB and hit him, please. BKB as fresh as you can. BKB! Hit him! Hit him! You have life steal. Just run now. Yep. Just run. Just run. Yep. Well, I'll buy your items. Hurry. Disassemble your Mask of Madness while you're here. Put in your inventory, unlock it. Oh oh, you sold God. it, just buy it. Who fucking cares? Buy it. Go back in. You have no BKD, you have to be careful though. You're fishing. Let anti mage blink in on somebody. 
The anti mage is scared. Hit that guy. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Beam that guy. Okay, hit the wave. Hit the wave. It's just anti mage. Go down mid. Mid, mid, mid. Mid, mid, mid. As long as you have Manta, if anti mage blinks on you, you press Manta. If you can just respond to him blinking before he hits you, it's it's the dream. Oh gosh, you're a Wind Ranger. I can't tell what the fuck's going on. Hit this wave mid and then go. Oh, Arcanor, 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 bottom. Go Ancients. They're Ancients. Some fucking shit going on top. Ancients. Uh, you're gonna send Manta to bottom wave. I want you to send it like this. Or sorry, back towards the Secret Shop. Right now, send Manta. And then hit the. Uh, down, down bottom wave. Hero on Ancients. Uh, you're gonna wait for the camps to spawn. If Tusk walks up here, you preemptively ult and kill him, okay? Be ready, be ready for him to walk right here. We're fishing for opportunities now. Right here, right here, please, be ready for him, please! Yes, okay. Just wait, let him be ready for him to fuck up! This is where we let the opponent throw the game. Gotcha. Don't show on this courier, do not hit the courier, do not fucking fall for it. It reveals your map positioning. Fucking sit here. Literally sit here, somebody's gonna walk up alone. If it's not anti-mage, you kill them. We're just waiting, there's nothing better to do. Fuck it all, now! BKB, BKB! Run, please run, please run, please run! Just run. Do not hit that wave. Go pick camp. You have to think about it as, we're not actually dying, so these mistakes are just making it so we have to do a right th the next time, and eventually if we do a right without dying, we'll win the game, okay? okay. We're, we're getting ourselves extra chances because we're not dying. Silver Edge, when you're walking around the map like this and you don't see anybody, please just push Silver Edge so they don't get randomly jumped. That's the point of the item. People think of it as an escape, it's so they don't see you in the first place. Instead of Lance, I would personally go Lincoln's. For this Abyssal Blade, this kick from Tusk. That's coming out, probably. Silver Edge towards your team. Be ready to join this fight. Make sure you buy your item and have it sent to you. If you have BKB again, you can Manta the mid-wave. Keep connecting to your team, though. Keep going to your team. Manta the mid-wave. Run towards the bottom wave. If a fight breaks out, you run back towards the fight. We're cleaning up the map while our team is making a move. Run towards the bottom wave. Yes, very good. Your team's on a ward. A fight is kind of breaking out. Run back towards it now. Back towards the fight. You ready to... Yeah, you got this. That fucker. Yep, go mid-wave, 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 mid-wave. Make sure anti mage doesn't cut it. You can send Manta back to bottom jump, jump, if you jump, want. Jump, 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 jump. Might be like a DD rune, be ready for it. Illusion rune bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take those illusions with you. You're not afraid, man. You can just hit. You're not afraid. Please don't be a puss. You have all your items. Okay, now we gotta be a bit scared. Keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting! Please kill the buildings, you're a Luna. Hit, hit, hit! Manta and hit, Manta and hit. Manta and hit. Yes, beautiful! Oh, that's an illusion, it's okay. Back, 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 you can me, just back. Run. Keep running, keep running. Oh god, the torrent. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Ult on top of the hill if you get there. Ult, 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 ult! It's okay. Tiny's a little bit psycho. In those type of situations in the future, the only thing your teammates can do wrong is dive. So you can say, just hit with me, Tiny, don't go on them. If you say that kind of stuff and he still does it, then whatever. But it is actually relevant communication. Because some carries want you to dive, and some carries want the enemy to go on you. Well, that's something you can definitely communicate, if you feel like it. Um, so yeah, I would buy back if a fight breaks out. Okay. But you don't have BKB for 35, so I, I would just not buy back. Give up one lane of Rax. We're mainly concerned about Tiny dying, not about the Rax, okay? I don't- IDC Rax, me care Tiny. We need that guy. No cares for Kiro. So if they, like, dive your tiny, like, psychos, then we're gonna buy back. Okay, not the end of the world. We're playing for Roche again. Go towards mid. Top and mid we're playing for. Tell your team we're playing for Roche. I think it's gonna be up soon. Try to get back into your triangle. Your team's not going first. Silver edge yourself in. You can send Manta Illusions into Roche. Ah, that sucks. Hey, wait for him here. You have vision. Wait for him here. You have vision. You have vision. Wait here. Wait here. Wait. No, wait on the hill. It has to be on the hill. It's not good enough to farm. You have to wait with your team on the hill. Ooh, never mind. Okay, go push mid. They TP'd somebody bottom. Sky Mage is bottom for some reason. If one of them shows on this mid wave, they fucking die. Don't show yourself on the mid wave. See if they show. Be ready. On the wave. On the wave. Be ready. Trust me, people show on waves at the late game. That's what we have to wait for. Like, scout behind the wave. 
Okay, they're not sh- Okay, those are illusions. You can just send your Manta. They're all bottom. You can actually run at them right now. You see, only because we have wards do we want to run at them. Play on the wards. The wards are your friends. Wards are your two guides. Wards, wards, wards. Please, wards, wards, wards. Please run at the fucking ward. If people walk up into this ward, they die, okay? At this stage of the game, we camp wards and let them walk into them. Just sit here. You can kill the illusions yourself. You're the only guy that kills those. Yeah, see this? How do we... Fuck yeah, let's go! Sitting on wards! Let's fucking go! Okay, go mid. After this, go mid. Is that real? Okay. Holy shit. Push Silver Edge and run mid, please. The power of sitting on a fucking ward. It's crazy. Buy the, take the DD. Go, go, go. We have creeps. Go, go, go. You're cautiously hitting the fucking towers. Okay? If you hit towers, you hit heroes. Because your fucking glaives bounce on them. So just be cautious. Follow the creep wave in. Don't let anti-mage jump you during a stun. That's the only way we fucking die. That's just an axe. You can use Manta and shit too, so he doesn't mana burn you. Run your illusions in. Hit, hit, hit. As long as you're hitting, it's scary to go on you. Keep hitting. Silver Edge, so you can hit. Yes! Just hit, just hit the tower! It's not real! Hey, back off, back off after this. Back, back, back. Actually, kill that guy. You have, you have DD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Okay, he killed your entire team. Manta, as soon as you can. Manta, fight them! Silver Edge, hit the. Ah, uh, they're gonna let you go? Ah, oh, shit. I, I, just, I just didn't feel like I wanted to hit there. Juke, like, juke, juke! So in that spot, I'm accepting death and I'm silver edging and hitting the tusk and just trying to kill him with gotcha. me. That's why okay. I'm. That's why I'm telling you to hit him. Okay, guys, let's just awesome. let's end this fucking myth. Silver edge is not a oh shit button. Okay, silver edge is a don't let them see me in the first place button. Okay, so if they already see you, you can use silver edge to hit them. You know, to like break and do extra damage. This idea, this fantasy of pushing invis and running away, even if it works in some of your games, it's not going to work eventually because people aren't idiots. If you want to, like, Silver Edge, wait one or two seconds to see if they actually have detection, that's fine. We only care Throne. Only cares Throne. No cares that. So we're going to be dropping our treads for... Mm. Divine. I'm strongly considering it. Dance Mage has Butterfly, though. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. Probably a probably Divine, to be honest. Run really? to its top. Yep. Should I do that, like, now? I would. Let's make it interesting. I don't even think it's bad. Run top lane. You see them on the map. I have no idea where you're fucking going. I, I don't want to micromanage you all the time. Can you use your Courier for things like this? Okay, buy the Divine. Content. I'd prefer to be hitting Ancients with our hero rather than sitting in base. But, you know, that's just a passive-aggressive flame on your efficiency there. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the Ancients. Just don't get jumped at the start of the fight. If somebody blinks on top of you, though, you BKB and fucking hit them. They don't have any Aegises or anything. I don't think so. Be careful about when your Silver Edge is cooldown. Actually, Ancient Mage, yeah, his Aegis is going to expire. I want you to TP to your team right now. Be ready for them to blink on your team. TP, but don't show this fucking Rapier. Silver Edge. Let them blink on your team. You're just never going to show until they blink on one of your teammates. Your teammates are bait for you, okay? They're dangling for you. Just follow your teammates around. Be close enough to hit the people that blink on your teammates. That's what I need from you. I just say, like, all three waves for now so that this doesn't show? Yeah, for now. Just follow your teammates. I need you to be really close to your teammates so that if they get blinked on, you kill people. Run towards your Marcy. So think about where the opponent is, what teammate is closest to the opponent, and stand behind that guy. That's what I need you to do. So, like, then it would have been Marcy. Now it's Tiny. You know, this is the kind of shit that we want to do. All your tiny. You there you are escorting them, but instead of like a secret service agent in front, they're your dog and you're walking them. Please, just follow them. Tell them to walk in clear mid. Tell them to bait for you. Tell them this kind of shit. Guys, can you can you bait? Guys, can, mid? You, can you bait mid? Ping your rapier and sit behind them. Let's fucking go. These are game winning plays. Sit behind the Wind Ranger, dude. He's the guy you're telling to push the waves. Hide in trees and silver edge on top of this Wind Ranger. Yeah, yeah, this is the dream. This is the bait. One of them's gonna fucking blink in and throw. That's what we're waiting for. You gotta be close to Wind Ranger. Yes. Okay, you can hit some creeps for buyback. You can hit you can hit jungle creeps, not lane creeps. Not lane creeps. We have a war, that's the only reason I'm down for you to do this. Your tiny doesn't want to dangle for you. You see this, Kunkka? Yeah, dude, you see this guy with a rapier? Just fucking you see him. You see him on a war! 
I also that see means... a teammate, and I don't see what's behind him. Oh. And I was alone. Oh. I felt alone. Like you, you have a ward, though. You can see exactly what's behind him. Oh, there's nothing. So wards are four, but it's fine. Tiny's bottom. Keep the up, keep up the whole silver edge behind the guy likely to get gone on. In this case, it's Jakiro. Jakiro's being a fucking psycho. This one's approaching with caution because this Jakiro's a psycho. I think he scanned it though, so that's kind of reasonable. Go to that ward. That ward. That Jakiro just like fucking risked his life for that ward. Go stand on it. Oh, that uh, that tusk wants to die so fucking bad. You can beam him. Yes. Yes. Okay, go mid. Keep going down lane. Advance on the map now. We're advancing. We need creeps, and we need to advance. Check rune. Bottom rune, maybe? DD? No. Okay, it's an irrelevant rune. Hit the wood. Be careful here. Back off afterwards. You're their golden goose. They want to fucking... I don't even know what that means. Go ahead and go down mid. Every time you show for a second, you, like, back off for a bit, and then, re then go back forwards, if that makes sense. Just don't give them that small opening to kill you, okay? This Wind Ranger's your bait again. Do not show on this creep wave. They're over here. You see it. They act, they they want to go. Be ready. Be ready. The Skyrath Mage is asking for it. Yes. Keep this up. Behind your team. You you got to be close enough to help them, but don't get gone on. Silver Edge. Silver Edge. That's what it's for. Just be ready if Anti Mage blinks in. If anybody blinks in. Yeah, be getting hit. Be getting hit. Be getting hit. Holy fuck. Hit, 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 hit. Disengage, you don't have BKB. Oh, no. Silver Edge, Silver Edge, Silver Edge. Okay, do we have buyback? We do. It's gonna be tough. Who has the rape here? Uh, looks like Antimage took it. Okay, we no longer win the fight against Antimage. Oh, wait, no, none of them have. Is it on the ground? It might be. Hoodwing, maybe? My yeah, check with your courier. Uh... I need no buyback. Can courier pick it up now, right? It can. It can? I'm 80% sure it can pick it up. We're gonna need you to buy back. They're gonna end. Be cautious with your buyback. Buy yourself some treads. Oh, it's there! No, oh, it can't, can't pick it up. Holy shit, yeah, I didn't know that. Holy fuck. I'm a noob, sorry. Should I try and like... Uh, yeah, buy the treads, buy the treads. Buy the treads. Problem is, it's really hard to leave this. Well, luckily they don't have it. Be careful. Wow. GG. I want you to watch the game back with a few things in mind, okay? Yeah. So the notes on the laning phase are that when you're thinking of walking up to lane for CS, or if you feel like the lane's in a bad spot and you want to defensively aggro it, these type of things, literally anything in the game that requires you to advance towards the opponent. So in the laning stage, it's stuff like walking up to CS, it's range creeps, it's dragging aggro, all that stuff, right? In the laning stage, the most important thing is to not have the opponent 2v1 you. So if your support is not there and you're looking to do these things, it matters about their second hero, right? It matters that the Hoodwink is nearby. So if you see the Hoodwink like walk over to contest your Jakiro, that's like the five second window you have to go draw defensive aggro. If you miss it, either the lane gets stuck where it is or you just die if you try it later. Um, yep. So like in lane, that's an example of what I was trying to say during the lane. That lane was really tough because Hoodwink Tusk is just like... It's a really strong combo, right? They do, they can do so much damage. And it's really important to not let these combos like 2v1 you. And then in the game itself, there are a few important things to note. When you're losing and you're a hero like Luna or Drow, I want you to think that your farming on the map is going to be very limited and you need to use your teammates as buffers to get places. The only way you'll ever really expand your farm as a hero like Luna or Drow when you're like stuck in your triangle is if you follow your teammates to like relevant objectives Main objectives being runes and most likely the mid wave. I know mid wave is not exactly seen as an objective to most players, but almost every time in the game, somebody wants to clear mid wave. They see a creep wave coming in, they're going to want to kill it in mid wave. Okay, so what I was telling you in the mid game was like play around your heroes that are far like going for runes and like playing for mid wave. And it's actually a really big deal if you're providing your aura, you're beaming a few people. You don't have to do anything fancy, you know? I don't want you to like go in and feel like I'm telling you to carry the game right there. I just want you to be like, there's nothing better for you to do. You know what I mean? Like, there's no room on the presence. map to farm. Like, be a presence. Like yeah, be a presence, exactly. Like, even just a little bit of contribution from you, like aura damage and, like, two beams, 
is more than anti-mage is contributing in the team fights at that moment in the game. And so it's heroes like Luna and stuff that like, because they're bad at playing alone and they have something that helps their team, they're more likely to do this type of maneuver, you know, where they help their team in a way like that, okay? It's like with an anti-mage, I don't want you doing that. <laughs> it's like, I want you to be evasive on the map and making the opponent chase after you. But Luna can't do that, right? So I need you to be near your team. And then all the other times, uh, our previous sessions, we talked about like free flowing on the map and stuff. Um, the biggest thing is that I need you to have an on-off switch in your brain um, that we're gonna work on. So this is this is actually the main thing I want you to work on out of all the things we talked about during this game. Obviously, you know, go eat some dinner or take a, take a breather because I know that was incredibly overwhelming for you. And just letting you know, it's like, I'm not actually mad or anything. I'm just like getting into it. And obviously it's sad when I think of something and it doesn't work out, right? So the first step is how, am I retreating or advancing? Things that influence this, your team, positioning, their team positioning, your hero's independence, and then uh, amount of information. It's really important to note that if they're not providing you with inf any information, that means they're not farming creep waves, which means you don't have to. So that's like a okay. general rule of like, if you are not operating with information, that means the opponent is simply not pushing creep waves, right? Um, it's okay to sit in trees like I told you. That, yeah, that yeah. If you remember yeah. what happened earlier in the game where you sat in the tree's top, you literally set your team up to win that fight and like take a tier two and get the next Roche. That was yeah, all yeah. you just sitting there. That's like why we sit there because we don't have information. We have no idea what they're doing, but because we're creating pressure in an area, they eventually have to show us something, which means they're either gonna show all of their heroes bottom and take your tower, or they're gonna bring somebody top like 2K noobs and die to it. That's the two options, okay? And people mess that shit up in my bracket, okay? So it's not like I say 2K noobs, but like people mess that up in my bracket as well. You, the point is though, if you don't have any information, if you don't sit there, you're just sitting in your base. That's like the alternative. And so it's like the further up you can go while stealthily doing it, being a ninja, that's what I was talking about. But okay, main thing to focus on. I just wanted to mention that. When you are advancing, like you have established you are advancing, acknowledge that whatever the enemy is currently doing will be dynamic, right? Like they're going to do random decisions that you're not ready for. So like if I'm advancing and I was only planning on advancing one camp, right? I was going to go to like the next camp in front of me and suddenly four enemy heroes show on the bottom wave. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep advancing, right? I'm going to go advance even harder because I know I can. It's like when you're retreating from mid lane where you got caught that one time, usually when you're retreating, the ideal is to hit the creeps on the way out. That's the ideal. You want to retreat while hitting creeps. So that would be my general plan is I'm going to retreat. I'm going to hit creeps. So while I'm thinking that and I'm running away, the only thing that matters to me is anything in the game that would make me want to run away more. So I see a Kunkka running through a ward blazing straight at you. And I'm like, oh, run, run, run. you know, like, holy shit, that's scary. You know, like that Kunkka running at, like running at you where he shouldn't see you in a straight fucking line should be really scary. And so that's like the sense of urgency where you were doing the right thing, but you didn't adjust to what was happening in the game. And I know it's super, it's super fucking scary. The thing is you're allowed to make three or four big mistakes like that in your bracket and still win the game. And I want you to know that like, it wasn't the cleanest game ever, but you guys still had a very realistic chance of winning this game, right? A very realistic chance in a game where you were losing early game to like an anti-mage where it's like, like I'm pretty sure the grass were ugly as fuck. Like look at this early game. And like, look at what we managed to do in that mid-game farming, right? Like, like you could you could definitely focus on like the 16 to 30 minute mark as like a way to learn. Because what we what we did is things that carries in your bracket won't do, where you're like playing around your team, you're sitting in areas waiting for the opponent to show, setting up stuff. It makes a big difference. It's not like a coincidence, okay? But yeah, biggest thing is whether or not you're retreating or advancing at all times. And when you are in, once you've already established that, all that matters to you in terms of information is things that would change your mind or make you do it more, okay? So it's like, I'm retreating, I gotta retreat harder. Or I'm retreating, I see two heroes, I'm gonna take my leisurely time and farm all these camps. It's like, uh, that degree is the free flowing part of the game. That's what I mean by like free flowing on the map. You're not only retreating or advancing, you're not only, like the stuff where you're sitting in trees and stuff, that's actually really high level stuff. That's like really hard to do. Um, to know when to do it, to know how to do it. So if I can just get you focusing on once you're retreating or once you're advancing, what exactly you're looking for while doing that, it would be big. Uh, okay, man. Have a happy new year and I'll see you next week. You too, but thank you. Peace. Ooh, that game was crazy.